Hey folks, good early evening. Shy of 7 p.m. Uh, I'm out here in the field. I ended up, I'm starting this this evening. Uh, I don't have much longer and I'm, I'm out. Um, this is that rented ground that's being put into barley. It's going pretty good. Figured I'd at least get everything out here and, and uh, start it. I left the farm with, uh, of course, a full bin of uh, treated barley. I got a good little ways to go yet before, uh, before I need to be concerned about being out. That's treated barley. Um, it's treated for the fact of, uh, you know, my words aren't all correct here, bacteria, so it's, it's a fungicide. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm putting down roughly about 100 pounds per acre. 100 pounds per acre. And for you, uh, for some of you that don't know any better, and it's okay, I didn't put that correctly. Um, if you watch the other video, well, there's nothing in here. Well, why is that? That little box there is a cedar. It's a cedar for uh, grass, grass and alfalfa. For the, it's, it, it's planted at the same time, but it's not being harvested this year. Some people get very lucky. They can actually get one harvest, a late harvest, like let's say September, late September, off of their alfalfa. Acres. I don't expect it to be great if we get. We'll see what happens. This field is not getting any new seeding for a regrowth. It's just getting is just getting barley. Um, reason being is, I mean, you can't plant. I'm sorry about the wind. I can't help it. You can't plant every field that you're doing with a, a, a regrowth of some sort. And understand, this is for you know some of you that don't know and, and want to know. Obviously, you have to have open ground for the following year for grains, whether it be barley, oats, some people soybeans, or uh, even corn. This is a beautiful field that I'm half tempted, maybe at some point someday, to go put in, to put into like a like a grassy hay mix, or maybe even a pure alfalfa. We'll see what happens. Right now, this field needs to be remained open according to the property that we farm and that it needs to be open in the event of either a small grain of barley or oats or corn. Awful explanation. You might get the gist of it. Um, there's really not much else I can tell you. Um, everything's working real good. What's the reason for this culty packer? Now, You can see the seed. The seed is dropped into here, into uh, um, what I'm going to call an opener. Okay? It's followed behind by one of these wheels. Now, not all barley gets covered up. For example, look right here. See, there's a ridge, there's kind of a ridge right here. There's no, I'm going to call soil to, you know, pack it back down. So, therefore, the culty packer covers it up. Even with these guys here, it puts it into the ground. So, well, I'm about to make a fool out of myself. All right, here we go right there. That's the reason for that. All right, folks. Just checking in again, kind of showing you what I got going. Uh, it's been a long day, been a good day, real good day. Um, I got about maybe another 30 minutes, 45 minutes worth of planting, and then uh, I'm kind of screwed. I'm kind of out here by myself. I don't have my truck. Uh, I got somebody picking me up in a little while. Uh, back at her again tomorrow so anyway everybody have a nice evening 
and uh, we'll talk to you sooner or later.